Hey Flower Letter friends and welcome to another segment of Love Letters from Hanny. I am excited to uh, share a few thoughts with you today because I um, have been thinking a little bit about this for actually a couple of years now, this, uh, this thought that I want to share with you. And um, just before I share it, I wanted to give a little bit of background information so that it makes a little bit more sense. So a couple of years ago, actually about seven years ago, uh, I got, um, I had my daughter and I got very, very sick and it pretty much in completely incapacitated me. I felt like I went from being this very um, active and functional adult to being very much like I was in a child state and it required me to take a step back from just about everything in my life and it was one of the most difficult experiences of my life. However, at the same time, it was also one of the most um, refining times of my life, uh, and I learned so much. And one of the most important things that I learned was to not compare myself to other people. Um, I'm not perfect at it. I will put that out there right now, because it is, we live in this world where especially for women it is very difficult to not compare ourselves to others but what i did learn from this experience was how to value what i had to offer and really appreciate what those around me had to offer especially when they had to when what they had to offer was what i could not offer at the time and i just wanted to just voice that with all of you today because I know as I've said a few minutes ago or a few moments ago <laughs> that we live in this world that there's so much pressure on women and I think men feel it too but but especially with women there's this huge pressure to be everything do everything uh, and to just like have the perfect body, have the perfect life, be the perfect mother, be the perfect career woman. There's all these these expectations that are coming in at us from all angles. And I just feel like the place to be and to thrive the most as women and men as well, men I think would will thrive with this as well, um, is to get in touch with your strengths value those strengths and appreciate the strengths of others and as we do that and we encourage those around us to be their best selves in the way that they uh, they shine then um, we create this really beautiful nurturing environment that I believe that women are naturally very gifted in is is nurturing one another and nurturing um, a community and we've seen that so beautifully with you all in this flower letters community where you have um, brought your friends or your family and you've shared the flower letters with them and it's created this this lovely connection that we're seeing um, especially after 2020 when we were so separated from each other it's been really beautiful to see uh, so many of you use the flower letters as a tool to connect with one another and um, i wanted to remind you of that i guess is that women have this beautiful gift to connect people and to nurture people and we do that when we focus on developing our own strengths and encouraging the strengths of one another of, of others and um, and then we need each other so much more we we depend on so each other so much more because we're bringing to the table something completely different um, each one of us and something uniquely beautiful in a way that only we can can contribute and I just wanted to leave that with you because I believe that each of us has something beautiful to offer I am NOT a great um, public speaker as one of the comments pointed out in my last love letters is that I say I'm a lot I know that um, <laughs> I've been working on it for years since like fourth grade but I haven't mastered it yet yet I'm not not going to keep on working on it but i've come to understand that about myself and i'm giving myself grace in that area um, but i am a writer and an artist and and those are two areas that i really love um, being and i and i feel like i excel at and so that's that's the thing that i wanted to leave with you is find those areas that you excel especially if you're feeling the need to compare yourself to others 
find those areas that you excel and just throw yourself into them because I believe that we were given those strengths for a reason and that what we are able to do with those strengths is is part of our our life's mission our life's work here is to really thrive in those areas and then share them with those around us and really uplift those around us by being the best selves that we can be not a semi great version of our next door neighbors if that makes sense uh, be the best you that you can be because no one else can do what you've come here to do and um, and what you can contribute to the world and so i wanted to leave that with you and with a great deal of love and i will talk to you next time take care